Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving you all tips and tricks for rural players on Pokemon. So if you guys live out in the countryside or you live far away from a city, I'm going to be helping you guys out when it comes to playing Pokemon Go in them sort of areas. Right guys, my first tip is to take advantage of the 7 day catch streak and the 7 day Pokestop streak. So if you guys don't know, every day you uh, on your first Pokemon catch you get a streak. If you do this, you catch one Pokemon every day for a week, you'll get a 7 day catch streak which gives you a bonus XP and uh, the same for the Pokestop if you spin one Pokestop every day for a week uh, as the days go on you get more and more stuff on Pokestops and I think on the week streak you are able to get special items or evolution items to help you evolve your Pokemon so number one is take advantage of your seven day streak and your seven day Pokestop streak tip number two is make sure you take advantage of sending and receiving um, Poke gifts from your friends um, so this means you are able to open up a maximum of I think it's 30 pokey gifts and I think you're able to send 20 gifts a day um, so take advantage of sending your friends gifts and receiving gifts off your friends um, in the same sense take advantage of the XP you get from becoming good friends best friends ultra friends um, it's always good XP to have for example, when you get good friends, you get 10,000 XP. When you get ultra friends, you get 50,000 XP. And best friends, you get 100,000 XP. So make sure you guys are coordinating uh, when you're going to be getting your XP. So for example, if you have one day left to become best friends, make sure with, with that player, you coordinate and get that bonus XP together. Uh, so yeah, guys, make sure you take advantage of receiving and sending friends gifts. Tip number three, guys, is make sure you use your free raid pass every single day. So if you guys do not know, every day you will get a free raid pass from spinning a gym. Uh, this is a orange raid pass. It is completely different to the premium raid pass, which is green, and the remote raid pass, which is a purpley, like, pinkish reddish. Um, so, yeah, this orange raid pass is your free raid pass. You get one every single day. So if you are a rural player, take advantage of this uh, by going out and doing a raid if you have a local gym near you, or maybe going for a walk with a couple of friends to take on a raid. Um, so yeah guys, that's tip number three. Tip number four is take advantage of PvP. If you do not know in Pokemon Go right now, you can now do PvP. All you guys have got to do is go on to Pokemon, press the Pokeball. You have Pokemon item shop, Pokedex, and battle in the top right hand corner. Press on battle. This will allow you to do five battles every single like league or thing. And depending on how many wins you get, you will get different items such as rare candies, Stardust, uh, a random item such as silver pinaps, fast TMs, charged TMs. So there's a lot you can get from doing this. I think you are allowed to do so many a day. So if you are rural, make sure you're taking advantage of them free PVP battles a day. Um, and yeah, guys, that is tip number four. Oh, I did forget to add. So you will level up during your PVP battles. And once you get to rank 20, you are able to encounter the legendary Pokemon, which is in raids at, uh, at that moment. So for example, if Mewtwo is in raids and you are lucky enough, your encounter after three wins, if you're ranked 20 or above, will be a Mewtwo. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's a good thing to also aim for if you find it hard to take legendaries out. And my last and final tip for you guys today is take out uh, Team Rocket Grunt. If you guys don't know, uh, they will come in on a hot air balloon. I think every, I think it's every six hours. So I think at six o'clock, uh, six a.m., twelve p.m., six p.m. and twelve a.m. I think is when the team rocket grunts come out. Also, during special events, they may spawn more often. For example, we just had a event a couple of months ago and they were spawning every three hours um, and they, was, they also appear on Pokestops and if you guys can see, you'll see a Pokestop but it would be a bit like corrupted, there would be like a black um, taking over it sort of thing, I'll put a picture up on screen now um, and if you guys who see this, take advantage of attacking a Team Rocket Grunts because they will give you a Shadow Pokemon, if you guys do want to purify your Shadows you can, uh, it will boost their um, IVs but a Shadow Pokemon is stronger uh, but it has less health, so it hits harder, I think by like 15 or 20%, 20 but it has less health, but these are very strong. If you guys do want to have a look uh, into Shadow Pokemon, I can make a video on that in the future. So yeah, that's my last and final tip, is take advantage of grunts on Pokestops and in hot air balloons. So guys, I hope this video helps you rural players. I myself am a quite rural player. Um, I am now above level 38 so I was able to do some Pokestop nominations so that's another thing to aim for when you try and get to level 38 ASAP because you can start going around your local area 
um, and nominating new Pokestops. I have done that myself, and I've got two new Pokestops around where I live so far. Uh, so yeah, guys, that are they are my tips for rural players. So hopefully this goes on to help you guys. If you guys want further videos on, for example, Shadow Pokemon or any other videos, leave your recommendations in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe if you are new, and stay shiny hunting. Peace.